And sometimes you might even feel white guilt, but mm. there's no point feeling guilt because your guilt's not really going to change anything. We sure. want you to action it. You know, um, there was this quote by Baratunde where he said, you know, Superman doesn't feel bad about the fact he has powers and the rest of us don't. He uses that power for good and that's what we want you to do. Hi guys, welcome back to another cultural video. Today we'll be talking about how you can be an amazing ally to the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, so um, this is for our white counterparts, our counterparts from other races. We really want you guys to be a part of this movement because your voices are so important. And so here's how you can do it. So, first thing we want you to do is recognize and use your white privilege mm. for good, right? So I've spoken to a lot of amazing friends of mine who are white and they want to help in any way possible and sometimes you might even feel white guilt but mm. there's no point feeling guilt because your guilt's not really going to change anything we want you to action it you know um there was this quote by baratunde where he said you know superman doesn't feel bad about the fact he has powers and the rest of us don't he uses that power for good and that's what we want you to do. You want to help, there's lots and lots of ways to help. The biggest one being wherever you see inequality, speak out against it. Mm. Whenever you see a colleague being treated in a way that's not quite fair, it's not proportionate to how you've been treated or another white colleague's been treated, speak up, say something because your voice in that moment is more powerful than their voice because yeah. they're going through a lot and they don't want to be accused of calling, being um, using the race card. Mm. It's really horrible when you're worried about being accused of using a race card. So please speak up. Speak up there. Speak up to your members of parliament. Um, speak up to the politicians and leaders in, in politics or in your organisation. Yeah, and that leads nicely on to point number two, which is championing black leaders. So whether that's within your organisation as someone for a promotion or someone who you recognise for doing good work, mm -hmm. you want to lift them up so mm -hmm. that they get greater opportunities mm -hmm. so they can rise higher. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's your elected representative. You know, we already know that black people are not represented enough in society in leadership positions mm. so you really want to be an ally by mm. pushing those people and making sure that their achievements are well recognized because mm. that's something black people in organizations often don't get mm. they don't get recognition for their work mm -hmm. so by you championing them and really putting a spotlight on the amazing work that they're doing mm -hmm. that's how you can be a great ally yeah um, the third one that we have is protest with us. Mm. You know, I was so amazed this last weekend to see the number of, you know, um, people from other races who turned up, white, Asian, um, a lot of other different races who said, you know, we stand with you. Mm. I saw a sign which was Palestine for Black Lives Matter, you know, and just like many other races, just being in this fight with us. And even those of you who've messaged us on social media to just tell us that you're with us, we are incredibly happy to just see that there's so many people who are forward thinking and as many of you as there are we know that there are also many whose um, hearts are yet to be changed and you're in a better position to speak to them than we are because they're less likely to listen to a black person who they already have bias against mm. so you speak to them on our behalf you protest with us you you tell people about why it's important that this change happens yeah and the next way that you can be a great ally is by educating yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it completely unto the black person to educate you. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy to have to constantly tell people about how they're being racist. It's draining and you as an ally can help that by educating yourself, educating your family, educating the white people around you mm. so that we don't have to do it. Yeah. So when we meet another white person they already know about mm. these issues and it's not up to us to convince them. Mm -hmm. So by reading books, by watching videos, you know there's so many resources out there and just by taking a little bit of your time you can help change a black person's life or change their experience out of mm. Organization, mm -hmm. and that's something you can do that's well mm -hmm. within your power. Yeah. So, educate yourself, make sure you're well aware of these issues. Mm -hmm. Helps us. Um, another way you can support is by shopping with black owned brands. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you know, so many of you right now are asking about black owned brands, and there are so many out there. Mm -hmm. Like, making a conscious effort that says, Hey, I'm 
gonna support the black community and I need this item and I'm gonna look for a black owned brand to buy it from and um, that's amazing like and we absolutely appreciate it and by you know raising us up in this way and supporting enterprises that already exist people who are already trying to be the best that they can be then you're supporting the fight in that way yeah, yeah. so good and another point that leads on from that is you know you want to appreciate those black owned brands and appropriate from mm. them there's so many black creators out there black people making amazing things mm -hmm. and when you're going to take from their culture and when you're going to be inspired by that make sure you're giving credit back to those creators back to that culture that you're mm. benefiting from make sure that they're profiting off their creation mm. and so by doing that you're being an ally in the movement because mm. you're ensuring that we get money in our pockets and that that idea isn't just exploited mm -hmm. but it's inspired and you're promoting it using your big voice yeah and um, another thing I would say is make sure that you're paying the right amount for it you know and um, I feel like so many people and um, will try to get a discount will try to say I'm providing you with exposure all those sorts of things as a way to not pay black owned brands or black creators or black influencers the amount that they're worth don't do that because that diminishes us mm. that means that you don't value what we bring to the table as much as you do your white counterparts mm -hmm. so make sure that you're paying the fair the, the right amount for those items when you get them from the black and browns because it's very very important and this also goes into the workplace so if you have black employees mm. make sure you're paying them the same amount you're paying your white employees mm. this has a severe long-term impact if you start off as a low salary your percentage increase eventually adds up to a much lower amount overall mm. Mm. over a lifetime right so if you start paying your black employees the same as your white employees it makes sure that we can progress at that same rate so don't lowball us with your offers because you think that you know we won't we won't argue back or we will be less likely to negotiate pay us the right amount mm -hmm. because we are valued the mm -hmm. same yeah and um, next thing is to call out racist brands you know a lot of large brands pander to what they believe that their customers want so they believe that you want this look that is a white girl mm -hmm. who looks a certain way or a white guy that looks a certain way and so um, a lot of black influencers have been speaking out about the bias they face despite the fact they might have more influence so call out those brands and say hey I I've noticed that you're not diverse enough I've been on your website and I'm not seeing enough variety of backgrounds of races um, and call them out so that they know that even their white shoppers their white customers their white clients have a problem with the fact that they're not diverse enough and you guys dictate what they do they need your money mm -hmm. they need our money too but there's a lot more white people than there are black people so we need you guys speaking out and saying hey that's not right and then they can react and respond to that by hopefully having a lot more black models black team members black workers within their organization yes yeah. so those are just a few tips from us we hope those are helpful if you have any questions please let us know you can email us at info at culturville.co.uk or alternatively <laughs> or alternatively you can leave a comment down below or just message us on our social platforms yes Thank thanks you. guys Bye. we'll see you on the next one